The holidays are coming, Thanksgiving's almost here, and so we've got the lovely squash that we're going to try to lower those calories and cook something wonderful for supper. And I have Chef Joe from Ricacha's with me today. Chef Joe, I have tried the spaghetti squash, and not so much. My family didn't like this recipe, so I'm hoping you're gonna make it better for me. I'm hoping so as well. It looks very <laughs> it looks very intimidating, obviously. It it's, it's very yeah. huge. and kind of hollow, you're yeah. not really sure what's inside yeah. there, but it, it, if you do it right, it's lovely. To the eat. thing is, it's, it can also be a side dish, but it also can be your entree, right? Yeah, so okay. today we're going to make it as a, as a main right. um, dish. You can definitely uh, modify this to make okay. it as a side dish, but the application right. here today is going to be a main. All right, I have my own cutting board over here. You gave Perfect. me mushrooms, onions, pepper to yep. cut up, and yep. you're going to tell me how to cut up this squash, right? Yep. Okay, how do I do that? So we're going to start, and it, it's you know, oblong and, and round, so you're going to find the most stable place right. uh, on there. And basically, you just kind of go in with a very sharp knife and okay. uh, just cut it right down just the middle. Just cut it right down okay. the middle. Yep. Yeah. Right. And then turn it to your other side. I have <laughs> tried to uh, sometimes microwave them for just a minute or two to mm -hmm. soften it so it'll at least stay on my cutting board. But hey, I like your idea better. There it is. It's okay. A really ugly thing, but then you're going to yeah. use. Uh, Either a tablespoon or okay. God's given hands or utensils, best <laughs> yeah. utensils are your hands. Your and just fingers. getting in there and kind of scraping out all your seeds and whatnot. Not going too far because you'll see that the flesh of this does actually, it's called spaghetti squash because it almost resembles a pumpkin and has okay. like a little stringy things. Stringy. This could be something for the kids could do too. Uh, a lot of these recipes that I wrote uh, involved, you know, using my young children and oh, helping me yeah. prepare they those. Love so the they the love the kitchen. Yeah. Absolutely. Am I doing this whole onion, Chef? Uh, yes, we are doing that okay. whole onion. I'm using my best chef skills with my mm -hmm. onion here. You're doing great. <laughs> I'm your only helper, yeah. so that's why I'm doing so great, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Just kind of clean up any blemishes that may be on there. Again, okay. you won't really know what's in there until you cut them open. Okay. And uh, this is actually a fairly large one. They can grow pretty big, so you'd want to look for a medium. We're only going to do one today, one half, and reserve the rest for okay. another uh, time. Okay. And you want this a rough mince? Yep, rough right? mince. We're going to throw it right in that bowl oh, there. Okay, Everything, uh, there was a couple different ways that I researched how to do this. A lot of people yeah. would fry all your ingredients uh, beforehand and then, um, you know, bake this separate. I try to keep it just simple. It's okay. one, one pot type deal. So That's everything is going to go in. We're not going to dirty up too many dishes because okay. I love to cook. I just don't really care for the cleanup like part. Clean up, right? <laughs> right, right, like, absolutely. I feel like my helpers help clean up. Yeah. So, okay, we've got this we've done. We've got the squash. Um, on the mushroom, how do you do that? What's the best way to do best a mushroom? Best way that I've found, if you're not going to uh, really notice the the way it looks, is oh, just kind of wow, smash it. it. Just smash it and oh. put a rough little yeah. chop through there. Okay. Yep. You're better than me. Okay. I think you've done this together. once or twice. Yeah, I've done this a few times before. So, are we going to make this more of like a marinara sauce? Is correct, that what I'm working correct. Okay. Yep. So this will go in the bowl All as right. well. Pardon my I'll let you do the pepper and I'm okay. going to smash this because that was a lot that of fun. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, she's already seeded everything for me. I'll just take the bottom off. I'm trying to get ahead of you, Chef. There you are. Okay, so mushrooms and onion and now pepper. Yep. And I'm just taking out kind of like the pith or the membrane okay. from there. It's not good eats. Okay. Mine sometimes gets in there. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> You'll never notice. I mean, by the time it cooks down, um, it tastes just fine. Okay. You, there you go. Okay. And always, okay. and we've washed everything ahead of time, and you know, in the kitchen. So, yep. and doing it like this keeps your vegetables uh, a little more firm, a little okay. al dente, if you will. I like a little crunch in my uh, in my food, especially since the squash is going to be so tender. I just okay. kind of like a little bite with that. But we're not going to cook this ahead of time. Sometimes I'll just. Saute this mm -hmm. stuff. But you're yep. saying, leave it nope. alone. We're gonna leave All it alone. Right. We're gonna put right. this guy in there. So and what kind a, is this? Italian? So this is an Italian sausage. Okay. You can use a spicy sausage. You can use uh, breakfast sausage. Okay. Maybe with some like sage would be another good way. All right. so I'm just, just mixing kind of it all mix together, yep. squishing all this stuff together. Absolutely. Okay. While you do that, I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning. Ooh, boy, those onions. A little bit of seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of pepper. Me out of here. <laughs> and some salt. Okay. It's all over my all hands. Over good your job. Hands. I, uh, <laughs> but I'm just mixing yeah. it all together. Mixing it no all egg. together. Nothing no like egg. That. No, no. Okay. It's almost going to look like a what meat is that? Oregano? So this is an Italian seasoning blend. Okay. It does have an oregano, rosemary, some margarine, uh, thyme. Yep. Don't forget, all the ingredients will be right there on our website. They are. Okay. 
I'm gonna take a couple cloves of garlic okay, and these I just, like this. Smash away. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna away. use four in this guy. Four, okay. Yep. And now, use, can I use the minced kind that's already in the jar? By all means. Okay, yep. but I do like to watch you do this yep. and just Kind of <laughs> smash that guy. And you get yeah, very <laughs> couple of little guys okay. in here, smash mm -hmm. them and then just do a little rough chop. All right. Boy, fresh garlic. The dog gets that one. Uh -oh. No big thing. <laughs> Run your knife right through there. Yeah. Scoop them up. Drop them in there. Yep. I, you really can't beat it. It does make a difference. It does. It does it make it a does. difference. They have fresh ingredients. And okay. then probably about I'm getting half out of, of this one. container of okay. yeah. <laughs> I'm getting my hands out now. All <laughs> right. We'll get a spoon for the rest of this guy. Okay. Looks good. Perfect. So my kids could help me out in this, right? Absolutely. They All would right. love to get dirty with this. Um, obviously not cutting the squash, but as far as cleaning it and mixing all this gooey goodness together here. And again, this is all going to get cooked um, inside the squash. Okay. So far, this is almost all the ingredients I would use in a meatball. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right? And, and you'll see when it Although comes I'd out. Throw an egg in there, maybe some. Uh, kind of bind it yeah, a little breadcrumbs bread or whatnot. We omitted that um, in this recipe to keep it a little more calorie okay. conscious. Yeah. So okay. that's what your mixture should look like okay. there. It's We're good. gonna go ahead and take this squash here. I'm gonna actually glove up really quick just so I can pack it in really nice. Right. Another little trick you would want to do that I did not put on the recipe is kind of score oh. the uh, excuse me score some of the flesh here. Okay. Just so that it render, you know, everything as it cooks will penetrate the, the flesh of that and just okay. kind of stand there. So we're Good gonna get idea. right in here. Yeah. Get right in here, start packing I it down. I squished it all together for you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you did it great. Mound it right up there, mm -hmm. huh? Okay, that yep. looks good. How long will we need to bake this, Chef? We're gonna bake this in a 375 degree oven for 30, 35 minutes okay. as is. And you're right, it does look kind of like a meatball or meatloaf type deal, right. but uh it definitely will lend its flavors to the squash. Okay, do I need any oil on the bottom? Nope. No, nope, we're, we're just gonna put it in here. Right. Yep, right we're gonna put middle. it in right in like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Tell me about what you're covering it with, Chef. So we're gonna cover it with a plastic film wrap and then foil as well. Why um, do we do that? For two reasons. It's gonna help retain the moisture and cook more evenly, mm -hmm. and it won't burn okay. as fast. You do need it covered. This is actually a large squash, a lot of meat inside there. So seal it really well. Okay, and then you put now the foil. foil. Yep. So the foil probably also protects the plastic from not melting in my oven. Correct. Okay. Again, I don't like the clean up, so we're gonna try to make this. <laughs> <laughs> I kinda do. Could, could stay in my kitchen anytime. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. In the oven it goes. In the oven it goes. 350 degrees for how long? Oh, you kissed it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. How long? Uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. We'll check on it there. Thank you so much. Oh, chef. I took this out of the oven. It smells so good. Oh, We've got good. your spaghetti squash with the, the sausage in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And this is kind of our bowl. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, if you was making this for yourself or somebody that you really enjoyed eating with, you could definitely eat out of this. I enjoy eating with you, Chef. I do as well. All right, let's, what else are we going to top it with? We're going to put a little bit of fresh parsley, um, some chives, and grated Parmesan cheese. But first, we're going to get some of this out of oh, there. Okay, scoop first, it out. We're I'm going to scoop, scoop it out. It. All right, we're going to go You're ahead. The pro. Nice and tender here. Mm -hmm. Make sure we get some of the squash. Now, like well I said, my it. family didn't like this the first time around. They were like, eh, maybe not again, Mom. So I'm hoping this will pick Change it up a notch. They do a like bit. squash, but they like it with sugar, sugar and butter. Right. Absolutely. And that's really high calorie. But if we can do it with a little lower calorie, make it a little more savory, a great dish for fall. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we have some fancy stuff going on here. Fancy, fancy. Chives. And a little, little bit of parm. Parmesan. Ooh, that looks really good. Beautiful. What is this called again, Chef? So this is a Italian sausage stuffed spaghetti squash. Okay. Let's give it a try. Get some of that. A little bit of everything here. Mm -hmm. It's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking. Ready? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Very good. The seasoning from the sausage, a little spicy, I kind of heating up in my mouth mm -hmm. right now with that uh, thickness of the, the spaghetti squash in there. 
I think this is a hit. I wouldn't mind putting some sauce on it. Could you put a marinara on it? You could definitely put a marinara yeah. on it and make it um, the way you like with some more cheese. Lots of cheese would definitely help it out or mm -hmm. sauce throughout. Yeah. But uh, like we said, we're trying to eat a little healthier. Cut and this some is calories. Absolute... And you definitely don't need a sauce if you do, like you just said, if you wanted to cut up your calories. Mm -hmm. I think my kids would like this one. Yeah, mine as well. This is what's for supper.